It's been nearly two years since Children's Hospital here in Colorado declared a mental health state of emergency. Pediatric emergency departments are overrun with kids as young as 10 years old attempting suicide or self-harm. That's a 75% increase from 2019 to 2022. As part of our Kids in Crisis coverage, we hear now from a group of parents stepping up to share with others what they've learned from crisis and how to keep your own children safe. Knowing that you're not alone in this is really, really important. You are not alone. That is one of the most important messages when, as a parent or a guardian, you feel despair. A world spiraling downwards because your child is suffering. Young shoulders unable to carry the weight of the world. There is that light of hope in the darkness when it feels really scary. Children thrive on stability, and lately our world has certainly been anything but stable at times. You can help by encouraging your kids to talk and not feel shame about feeling down or scared. Mental health conversations should happen early and often. It's really important for families to talk about mental health at home and to not just wait until there's a problem to bring up the subject of mental health. So how do you start a mental health conversation? Ask questions that are neither too broad or narrow. This might sound something like, you know, hey, I noticed that you've been spending a lot less time with your friends recently. Do you agree? What do you think the reasons for that might be? And starting with a question like that, I think, is a lot more likely to lead to productive conversations. What we've learned is like looking on a scale, a scale from one to 10, um, how are you feeling? How are you, you know, how safe are you? Um, and knowing where you're at on that scale is very important and then that can help guide. As a family, work before a crisis happens to develop a safety plan. When you're creating a safety plan, you talk about who are the trusted people. If it's an administrator or a teacher or a counselor at school, if it's a coach, if it's, you know, someone, if a music teacher, you know, a friend, an aunt. If you really started to feel unsafe or really, really upset, who could you go to if you weren't at home or if you didn't want to come to your parents or your guardians? And look for cues. Trust that you know your child well. Trust your gut. Like you have an intuition as a parent and if something feels off, try and communicate with your kid, try and get some resources. Like all children, your child is unique. What works for another may not be the answer for your young one and that's okay. Stay calm, trust your gut, find the resources. You're not alone. So great that they're sharing this information, right? Yeah, fantastic advice there for parents. And it just the more we can talk about yeah. it, the less of a stigma there will be. Yeah, fantastic. Some more advice that parents give out to make sure that you have a safety plan and that you should update it regularly with your kids. And be sure to tune in at 6 o'clock tonight for an exclusive look inside Children's Hospital. Plus, we'll show you how a local school district is addressing this crisis. And if you or someone you know is in crisis, you can get help from the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline by calling or texting 988. Also, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on our stream, CBS News Colorado, you can watch a documentary where youth discuss their struggles with mental health. We'll also connect you to resources right here across our state.